and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer, and welcome to what I think is day four of the Feisty Festivus. I think it's day four. It's close. <laughs> I don't know why I laugh every time I say it, but just uh, Feisty Festivus. Anyway, so today is a big day. Today is the brush video day. I call it the brush video because I've been talking about this for, you know, forever. And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go through by brand, uh, my favorite brushes in each brand. I was trying to figure out the best way to do it. Brand is just the easiest. Um, so we're gonna start with the brushes that I have the most of, which is Sonia G. So the Sonia G brushes, I have way more than the ones I'm gonna talk about today, but these are my favorite brushes. These are my favorite favorites. These are the ones that I reach for every single time that I am doing a look where I'm just like, oh, I must have these brushes. So let's start with the original series. This is all fall down. Okay, the first one is the Face One brush. This is the dyed Seikoho, I think is how we're pronouncing it. I could be totally wrong. Um, goat hair. So this is the softest part of the goat. It's kind of like the chest and neck area of the goat. Um, it is the highest quality goat hair and the softest. I think the blue squirrel is a little bit softer, but it's, but it's definitely soft. This is a very densely packed brush. I use this to buff out my entire face. I use this practically every single time I put powder on my face. I put highlighter on my face. I put blush on my face. I buff it with this afterwards. I absolutely love this brush. This is like my favorite brush on the planet. Uh, the second is the Smudger One. Smudger One is also Psycho, Psycho? Um, goat hair. This is not dyed, obviously. Um, and this is a great little, you know, smudging brush. It's exactly what you think it is. It's smudging out the eye line, smudging out the lower lash line. I can even smudge out the corner with it. Um, it's a very densely packed little brush and it's, it's really great. I can use this for um, creams as well. And then the last one in the original series is the Pencil One, again, Seikoho Goat Hair. It's a pencil brush. It's, it's not dirty, guys. I haven't washed it, but it's clean. Um, I actually washed them and then I used them for other videos and I was like, I'm not gonna wash them again just for this. So it's a very dense, it almost looks like, you know, tip of a pencil, uh, a, dull, a, a dulled pencil. It's perfect for you know, getting out that outer corner that you want um, like a little bit smudged out, but not too smudged out, totally perfect. So those are my three favorites of the original series. Then it's the sky sets. So there's a sky eye and sky face. Um, I have, again, way more than the ones here, but I actually like these more than I like the originals. So don't get me wrong, it's not that, like I don't reach for the original set, it's just that the sky ones, I seem to like better. Okay, so the mini booster, it looks a lot like the face one. It is a smaller one. It is brown Seikoho hair. Again, goat hair, very, very soft, but very densely packed. You can see the way that that works. I use this when I'm just buffing out like my highlighter or like right in through here to kind of keep it, you know, in the area. It's basically the same as the face one. It's just a smaller brush. Um, the smooth, buffer. Yeah, that was a smooth buffer brush. So then um, is the classic cheek brush. This is the classic cheek. The classic cheek is also Seikoho goat hair. Again, you're going to sense the theme because these are all Seikoho goat hair. And this is actually like almost the only, well, that's not true. It's the, it's the, it's the brush I use for uh, blush almost most of the time like 90% of the time, you'll see me use this brush. I have other blush brushes and I will talk about them, but this is the one that's my go-to. If you're looking for a good amount of pigment, you want a nice, clean, you know, good, um, really smooth application, but you want the pigment, go with this one. We'll get into the ones that I use when I want less pigment. Um, okay, so for eyes, there are four brushes. There is the classic crease, which is this one. And this one is a fluffier brush. And you can see, although domed, it has like almost a, like 
it's domed, but it has like more of a flat top. I use this in the transition. A lot of times I start with this brush to give a really like fluffed out, brushed out um, transition that's like big. So it, it goes into the transition, the crease area, but also above it and below it. So this is like for a blown out look. You can also use this when you put in a tight line and then you wanna blow it out. This is a great one to do that in your crease. When you wanna be more specific, I use, or when I do, I use the mini booster, which is a very similar shape, but smaller. And again, these are all uh, Seikoho goat hair. And I'll use that a lot of times after the classic crease to like, I'll do the classic crease, blow it out, and then buff it, make it really, like really wide. And then I'll take the mini booster and go in just into that crease area or just in the outer V to concentrate a color. Then we have the flat definer, which is this brush here. Again, this is brown Sikoho. And it's a great brush, just like, um, focus on a little specific area of your eye. You're putting down a very specific, uh, you're trying to do a very specific area and you just want to define it carefully. You want a good amount of pigment, but you don't, you're not looking for something that's super dense. Then is the soft shader. Now you can see stuff coming off that brush because I think I just used it. The soft shader is white Sikoho. And again, if you see the shape of this brush, it is a rounded, tapered brush. And oftentimes I use this as it exactly sounds when I want to soft shade. So I wanna put a, a shadow all over my eye. I want something that's domed enough that I can fit it into the crease. A lot of times I use this instead of the um, Chantecai. This is the shade and sweep Chantecai. You see the shapes are kind of similar. The Chantecai one's bigger. But it's really good for an overall, all one and done kind of look because you can shade onto your eye. It's a nice sweep. And then you can take the point of it and get it into the crease and define it out. So that's um, what I generally use that for. The brush I forgot to mention in the original collection, and the reason I forgot it was because I was using it for another look and I forgot to mention it is the Builder Pro. Again, this is Psychoho. This brush, this really is an interesting brush. This is the kind of brush that you want if you're taking a pigment, a glitter, um, a pressed shimmer, like a shimmery shade, like that Wayne Goss blue shade, that gorgeous shade. This is the brush I used. This is the Builder Pro. And it just has this perfect shape. It's, it's made perfectly because it's densely packed, but it has the um, Psychoho hair, which is soft, so it doesn't irritate my eyes. But it puts on and packs on things like more of a, that have more of a fallout. This is your brush. Okay, so next we're gonna move to the Wayne Goss brushes. So Wayne Goss, I've got a bunch of his, <laughs> I've got a lot of his brushes. But today, again, we're just focusing on my favorites. So let's start with, um, three, four, and five. These are all eye brushes. This, um, they are all blue squirrel and they're all incredibly soft. So three is the brush that you see me use almost all in like every video. I use this as my buffing out brush. This is the brush I use all over the eye and I always, I always blend out with that brush. Um, the number four is the small crease brush. That was the large crease. This is the small crease. It's similar um, shape, it's not nearly as fluffy, obviously, or as big. And I use this very similar to the large crease brush or the mini booster in the Sonia G. Then there is the five brush. Again, um, this is Blue Squirrel. And I use this often on my lower lash line, actually, to do the lower lash line shade, or I use it for very detailed looks on the outer corner. They are all incredibly soft, and I love those brushes for that reason. But I will say, because they are softer brushed, you get a more diffused look. So if you're looking for heavy pigment, if you're trying to put down like that uh, Wayne Goss blue shade, the sparkly shade, the shimmer shade, 
I would not suggest using a blue squirrel brush unless you're looking for a very diffuse look. Look for a goat haired brush um, or a different type of squirrel brush because that is gonna give you a, the squirrel or the more densely packed brush is going to give you a more um, uh, pigmented look. The blue squirrel will be more diffused. We'll talk about um, synthetic brushes uh, as well. Okay, so number 16 is also a goat haired brush. This is a um, crease brush and it's very similar to the number three brush, which I use all the time. It's basically the same, except the difference is this can be used for liquids and creams and this should not be because this, as you can see, is not dyed. Now, the other thing I would say about the uh, very small brush, this is the, the 05. This is called a precision detail brush. You can see, I mean, that's really what its purpose is. Next up in the Wayne Goss collection are his, his artist collection brushes. And it's the small, medium, and large brush. This is his collection that came out earlier this year. I think it's earlier this year. Um, the small is gray squirrel, the medium is gray squirrel, and the large is gray squirrel and Seikoho uh, goat. So this one has a, li this one's a little less soft than these two, but they're still all incredibly soft. I use this one for blush when I want the blush to be more diffused. Um, when I want a more pigmented I use the classic cheek from Sonya G. You can also see that the shapes are different. The artist collection is a bigger, rounder brush. This has more of that point. They're both like a similar shape, but this is more rounded. Uh, and this is just a softer brush than this one. Not that this is not soft. This is the Saikoho goat hair is very soft. It's the softest goat hair and the most, I believe the most expensive you can get but this is, this is softer. It's got the Seikoho and then the Blue Squirrel. These two brushes are incredibly soft. I mean, they're like silk. You don't really feel anything on, on the skin with these. This I use for my highlighter almost all of the time because I like a diffused highlighter look. I do not like a, a strong highlight. If you want a strong highlight, I would not recommend using this because uh, it's gonna diffuse it. So you're not gonna get a lot of pigment. You're not gonna pack on a lot of pigment. This brush, the really small brush, I will either use to buff out my eyes, and sometimes I do that instead of the 03, or I use this under the eye. It's perfect for right in here with the um, by Terry, the by Terry powder, the hyaluronic powder. This is perfect. The medium size works really well too. You can actually use either one. And I also use it like inside sometimes just to kind of like blend out a powder or something. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful brush and you can use it on your eyes. I mean, you can absolutely, if you want a very, very diffused look, you could take this brush and take a shadow and just put it all over the eye. You'd get a gorgeous wash of color. So next we're gonna get into the Chikahoto. I promise guys, all the details about these brushes will be down in the description box. I'll have links for all of them. Don't worry about that, okay. So the Chikahoto, um, I pick up on Beautylish as well. All the Sonya G's, the Wayne Goss, I get all of these on uh, Beautylish. The only other place I shop to get my brushes is BK Beauty and uh, Feud Beauty. Uh, actually, Vizia's, Viziage as well, V-I-S-E-A-G-E. -E. I'll put all the links below. Um, but for the most part, it's Beautylish. That's where most of my brushes come from. Okay, so let's start with the Z series. The Z series is the most expensive Chikahoto brushes. Um, they are really great for sensitive skin. Um, they are gray squirrel. They are hand-picked by specialists, brush specialists, each like hair, each brush. So it takes a long time for these to, you know, be put together. Um, they are hand bundled and they are hand bundled um, and they are, literally are uncut and you know bundled together and these are all done by you know artisans in um, Kumano, Japan. So these are expensive brushes but these are things that you keep for a lifetime. I actually have almost the whole set of the Z series 
But my favorite ones are the Z1, which is the powder brush, which still has powder on it right now. Um, I use this for my all over powder. I really love this brush for any of the um, pressed powders that I have. It's a very soft brush. Again, because it's that gray squirrel, it's gonna give you a very diffused, beautiful look. Um, then I have the Z8 cheek brush. I mentioned before, if I was looking for a diffused cheek, this is Blue Squirrel Wayne Goss. This is the Gray Squirrel Chickahoto. They're both incredibly soft. Um, similar shape, this is a little less round. You'll also notice that the ferrules, the barrels, the ferrules are, are shorter. Um, on the Chickahotos, they're much shorter actually. So it depends on like what your feel is. I have small hands, so the, the small handles are fine for me. Um, doesn't bother me at all, but you know, you might like a longer handle. Um, but anyway, uh, so they're, they're really soft brushes. They're incredibly good for sensitive skin. Then I have the um, Z4 Cheek and Highlight Brush. This, if you notice the shape difference, it's not as big, it's not as rounded. Let me put my hand up. It's not as, as, as rounded as the um, Cheek. And you can use this for a highlighter or a cheek brush. What I use this for generally is when I'm trying to get like a really specific little area, like when I'm trying to do just a little bit of pop of color on the cheeks or a highlight that I want diffused. Again, I also use the um, Wayne Goss. This is more pointed. This is more, you know, just like a wash because this is gonna have more of a pointed tip. This is gonna have a broader one. But they're both equally soft. I, I really wouldn't say one is necessarily softer than the other. And then this is the Z10 eyeshadow. This is a very pointed brush. This is what I want a diffuse look, because again, these are soft bristles. On the outer corner, I don't want as much pigment. Um, when I want more pigment, I'll use like the mini booster or something. But this one kind of gives that diffuse look, but still gives color. These, in my opinion, are the best for folks who have very sensitive skin. If you are reactionary to pretty much anything, any type of brush on your skin, if goat hair even uh, you know bothers you, the Z series is the way to go. But they are very expensive. I'm not gonna lie. They're you know they're an investment. Um, next is the FO series. These are these. They're really short. They're really tiny. Um, like, like put it next to the Wayne Goss to give you an example artist brush. So again, for me, this is totally fine. I like them. I think they're, they're perfect for me. They're just a nice little tiny brush. Plus these would be great for travel. Um, and I really, really like these. Um, they are silver fox and they're like a gray um, squirrel, but they have more of a strength of like a goat hair. So you get, um, you can pack more pigment with these, but they're still incredibly soft. And these are relatively new to my collection, but I reach for these a lot. When I am putting down um, a shade on my lid, you'll see that I do this F06 like all the time. When I want pigment, but I still want it to be really soft, this is the one I've been reaching for. And then the F07 is the same thing. It's just a pointed rounded brush, kind of like the eyeshadow brush from Chanel, this rounded one. Uh, it gives you like a specific point of where you want to go. I'll get to the Chanel one in a minute. Um, and you can really get into like the corners or the crease. But again, it has more of a strength of a goat so it can pick up more shade, more pigment, but it's still incredibly soft like um, a gray squirrel. Um, the hands on those, the barrel, the handles on those are maple, by the way. Then is the Kazan series. This is the, it's still Chickahoto. These are KZ07 and KZ08. They're also called the Honor Series. Um, they are dark brown, and I wrote it down because I'm not exactly sure what kind of wood this is. Granadillo wood. I don't know what it is, but it's a beautiful wood. Um, it's got this gorgeous, like, tobacco brown shade on the handles. They are also short. You can see these are short brushes. These are gonna be great for me when I travel again because I, I can totally put these in a bag. I reach for these a lot too, guys. The KZ07, um, when I'm looking for a broad swash of color all over my eye, and very similar shapes um, as the FO series. Again, um, you've got one that's like a very, you know, pointed, um, almost like detail brush. This one, um, the KZ is more pointed, this is more rounded. Same thing with this one. 
the FI is more pointed, this is more rounded, but you can see they're similar shapes. Um, and these are, um, the Kazan are brown squirrel. So they are softer than these, uh, the FOs, but the FOs, um, the FOs are still really soft. You can't really tell much of a difference, to be honest, when you're feeling them. They all feel soft and beautiful. Really new to my collection are two Kyoto brushes. I think that's how you say it, Kyoto brushes. Um, one is from the Premium Series, and there is um, characters on here. I don't know if you can, let's see if you can see it. I don't know if the camera will be able to see that. But, um, so there's no English uh, characters, letters on here. So I wasn't exactly sure what the number was, but this is the SJ301, I looked it up. Um, eyeshadow brush, this is the premium series of Kyoto. I'm pretty sure Kinky Sweat did a video on the entire premium series. This is squirrel and goat and cherry, it's made out of cherry blossom um, for the handle. It's really pretty and I gotta tell you, I really like these brushes. Um, it's incredibly soft and I really, for this, like this is a great sweep of color kind of brush. It fits perfectly on my eye. It's like the perfect size and it's just a great shape. I've only started using these recently, but I think I'm gonna pick up more of the premium series because I was very impressed. I gotta look for, for sales. Um, and then the other one is the KSZ05 small eyeshadow. This is Psychohoto goat hair. And this one is, you can see, more of that Builder Pro kind of shape. This is the one that I was talking about that does really well with um, like glitters and pressed pigments and shimmers. Um, and again, this is goat hair, so it's gonna have a similar, um, it's got strength and it can pick up pigment. And it's a similar shape, if you look at it. It's a little smaller. But I've really liked it for some of the shimmers that I've been doing. So those two are relatively new to my collection, but I'm definitely gonna pick up more in the premium series and I'm gonna try out this uh, KSZ series a little bit more. It's actually the name of it. Let me pull it up. Um, and I might butcher it. I will try not to. I really do try, but the I'm not great with the uh, the words. As you know, it's the Kashish. No. K Kish Ibuzami series. I'll put it down below. It's really, really long. Um, and it's just a really pretty, it's like I said, it's the Sokoho goat hair, not the Saikoho goat hair. Uh, S-O-K-O-H-O, -O, not S-A-I-K-O-H-O. -O. There's a difference. One is a little softer than the other. Um, and they are handcrafted. The dye pattern varies, you know, depending on which one you get, um, but it's uh, really beautiful, so. That is really nice. Okay, I like those brushes. All right, so now this brush doesn't exist anymore. I am sorry. This is the Tom Ford bronzer brush and this exists in shape and design. I am, it's actually, the color is supposed to be cream. I've used it for so many years. I mean, I've lost track of how long I've had it, guys. Literally, it's the longest brush I think I've had. Um, and so it's become, frankly, dyed from Terra. <laughs> bronzer, which by the way, the large size is being discontinued, I was told. I finally got confirmation of that. I got confirmation of a bunch of things being discontinued. I'm not happy. Uh, but we'll not talk about that right now. So anyway, this type of brush, the shape and supposedly the design is the same. However, this is a Coho goat hair. This uh, natural hair brush does not exist anymore. All the Tom Ford brushes now are synthetics. So the, the feel is different. The, the way that it, it works on your face is different. The way that it works with shadows is, I mean, with bronzers is different. I'm not saying it's worse. I'm not saying it's better. I'm just saying it's different and I don't have the new one. I only have this one. So I only can comment about how this works. It's my favorite bronzer brush. If you notice, I don't have another bronzer brush. I haven't mentioned any other brush that I use for bronzer because I don't use another brush. That brush is perfect. It's perfect for my face shape. I can get in and like make it very specific. I can make it very um, blown out. I love this brush. It's soft, it's perfect, but it picks up just enough pigment or sometimes more than enough. You really don't need a lot. This brush is amazing. 
I will link below the um, synthetic version of it in case you want to try it out. All right, now the rest of the brushes I have are synthetics. You're gonna notice, if you haven't noticed by, all, by now, all the brushes basically were natural hair brushes. That is not to say that I don't like synthetic brushes. I love um, BK Beauty brushes. There's a number of other brushes that I like that are um, synthetic, but my skin is extremely sensitive and I have found a lot of the synthetic brushes irritate my skin. Not all of them, and we're gonna get into that. Okay, so the first is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush. This is just a tiny inner corner brush. I think it's the perfect inner highlight corner brush, like literally, it's perfect. If it it's exactly in there, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's relatively inexpensive, love it. The next is the Chantikai Shade and Sweep brush. This is a really good brush, it's a vegan brush for putting on um, the luminescent eye shades. It picks up what it needs to pick up. It sweeps it on the eye. It is not super soft, but it's soft. So if you are extraordinarily sensitive, like when my rosacea is acting up, I don't use this. Um, not because it's not a beautiful brush, but when my rosacea is acting up, everything bothers me. To be honest with you, my rosacea is acting up, I use my fingers. When I use like a one and done kind of shadow, like those luminescents, I'll just use my fingers because it's just easier. Um, but this brush works most of the time for me because it actually is pretty soft for a synthetic. Talking about soft, the La Mer powder brush. This is a synthetic brush. Um, it's a very dense, puffy, huge brush. Um, I use it for my powder all the time. It's nothing compared to this powder brush, which is the Z series uh, Chikahoto. This brush is like a million times softer, like literally but um, you don't pick up as much powder with this. So if you're trying to do like a loose powder thing and you wanna pick up more of it, the La Mer one's definitely better. If you wanna pick up less or if you wanna just do like a pressed powder, I use this one. I tend to use this one with loose, this one with pressed, but I mean, you can, you know, you can do what works for you guys. Um, and then last but not least is the BK Beauty brush. This is my 101 brush. This is my foundation brush. It is the only foundation brush that I use. I've said that a million times and I mean it. I don't use any other ones. This is the one I use and it's a synthetic brush. Um, you can see it's uh, an angled synthetic brush. It's become more angled over the, <laughs> over the years. Uh, but yeah, I love this brush. It's super soft. I do have practically every BK Beauty brush. Yeah, I have pretty much every one. They are very soft. They feel like velvet. They're as soft as any squirrel brush. I don't know how Lisa does it. They are beautiful brushes. Uh, I like the natural hair brushes in general better. I've, I've gone through all the ones that are my favorites, but that's not to say that BK Beauty wouldn't be the next step. So if, if I had to get rid of all my natural hair brushes, to be honest with you, I'd probably just stick with the BK Beauty brushes. They're my favorite natural hair. I mean, those are they're my favorite vegan brushes, just hands down, because they're soft and they don't irritate my skin. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay guys, that was it. I did it, it's done. Um, this is not to say that there aren't a million more brushes. I'm looking at my desk right now and I have easily another 100 brushes, not kidding, um, that I could tell you about that are beautiful, that I love, that I reach for. But these are the ones, what I started doing is when I was doing all these looks, when I'm doing all the videos for you, I started leaving the brushes out. I did not put them back in their containers um, and then over the course of about two months, I figured out which ones I wasn't putting back. And those are the ones, the ones that I took out, those are the, and kept out, those are the ones that I'm like, okay, these are the ones I reach for time and time and time and time again. And, you know, it is a subset of my overall brushes, but it's still a lot of brushes. And I think you could find at least a couple brushes within here, <laughs> this many that you will like and enjoy. So uh, hopefully that was helpful. And if you guys are interested in a vegan synthetic brush video, I can absolutely do that. I will tell you that most of them are going to be BK Beauty. There'll be a couple others, but for the most part, that's what it'll be. The BK Beauty line is excellent. If you wanna pick up a whole set of vegan brushes, I would go with that. The other line I would say is Hourglass. They're actually pretty good. Um, the ones I've tried anyway, I haven't tried all of them, but they're, they're pretty good. They're expensive, 
Again, they're not inexpensive, but that's, you know, you get what you pay for. Um, okay guys, again, that's it. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I'll have all the details in the description box below. And I hope to see you again real soon, like, you know, tomorrow in another video. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me. Bye.